pages. Good. It's okay. All right. Hi, Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com. Lloyd Macedo <laughs> from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding? Today the date is um, uh, 21st March 2018. Time right now is um, 12:41. All right. Yesterday, after I got up, I got up in the morning. I I don't know. It was not a very good day. I after I got up in the morning, I I was just not feeling like it. I'll tell you, I was really not feeling like today. If you see my face, it's really fresh. It's shining. It's glowing because you know I've completed my thirty one, almost thirty minutes. I have a shave when I have a shave, you know, it's see, there's nothing. I, I, I shave against the grain. I use a chic quattro four blade. I also make sure that uh, I use the best shaving cream. I use oils, I use whatever. So I'm really fresh. So yesterday I didn't even feel like having a bath. I didn't feel like shaving. I was completely burnt out. I was I was in a bad state of mind. I don't know what. I, I just don't know what. So I woke up in the morning. I sat down and um, I was not able to do work. I had to go meet my lawyer for something important. Then after that, um, I was still not feeling like it. My legs were kind of paining. You know, when you age, as you grow older, especially if you're a bodybuilder or if you have done any exercises, muscle ache, joints ache is pretty common. And people don't talk about it, but there is. You, you, your body is no longer young like it used to be. If you just get up in the morning and the weather is cold, your joints can ache, your, your muscles can ache, body can ache. So I was really not feeling like it. And then um, after I got up, went to the lawyer, came back home, I told my wife, today I'm, I'm really not in the zone. I'm, I'm really feeling burnt out. So she was like, it's okay, sweetheart, you can just relax. Then I decided to go for a massage and <laughs> I wanted it to be a relaxing massage. I'll put up a video. You can see it later. It turned out to be a very, very painful massage. Very painful. Painful. Uh, I might insert some clips if you just want to see it. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. But it was very painful. It was terrible. It was horrible, 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 horrible. But that's good because the more painful it is, the better it is. So after the massage, um, came back home. Once again, I was not feeling like it. Then I said, I, I told my wife, I'm just lying down. Please, if you can just press my legs a little bit more, but this time just relax. Then she pressed my legs and I said, can you press my head? And she was massaging my head. Then after that, I, I said, I just want to sleep. So my wife said, okay, even I'll take a nap with you. Slept for another, I think, um, I think half an hour or so. Got up. Once again, I was not feeling in the zone. I sat down and the whole day, yesterday, the whole day, I was doing nothing but just pointlessly browsing through the net, checking YouTube, playing video games. I watched a movie, The Shape of Water. You must watch that movie. Great masterpiece. Amazing movie. Really great movie. I kind of liked it. And uh, I was eating here and there, small bits, eating chocolate, trying Red Bull whatever. So the whole day, whole day was um, a complete fiasco. I mean, there was nothing that was going well. Now that um, towards the end of the day, I told my wife, you know, today I didn't work. I didn't read. I, I didn't do anything productive. And she was like, that's okay. That's all right. So I said, well, I'm just, you know, I need to be working. She said, you work every single day, you study every single day, you read every single day. So once a while, it's okay just to take a break. So uh, the whole day just went on like that. I was just chatting with other people, just maybe answered a few YouTube comments. That's that's how it went. So today I'm feeling much better. I got up in the morning. I, I After I finished my meditation, the first thing that came to mind is shave and look fresh and feel fresh. And that's what I did. Um, didn't do too much of exercise, just, you know, a few, just hardly, it just says a few push ups and that's it. Had my coffee and um, my oatmeal, I'm still eating that. Um, and, um, you know, after checking my, my scores on my online gaming, you know, it's a strategy game, you keep investing and, you know, virtual stuff. So, whatever. 
then I decided, okay, I'm going to have this video. Now, being a creator, I'm a creator. I create content. I have to think creatively. I have to write uh, creatively. I have to, um, you know, add value to other people. I can't just, you know, like certain, some jobs, you can just go there. And even if you're not your best, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Uh, there are many people who work in the corporate world who don't give their best, like the receptionist. I don't think a receptionist gives a hundred percent attention. A receptionist would rather be looking at a phone, chatting with her friends, doing here and there. You know, it's just normal work. You you can't compare a receptionist or a sales guy, a normal average sales guy, to an artist, to a creator, to someone whose life and death depends on that moment. You know, it's, it's, so it, there's, there's varying degrees of uh, focus, responsibility, and uh, value um so someone just sweeping the road just just sweeping he can be casual about it but i can't be casual i can't i can't make a video and just not be my hundred percent because when i watch the video and i realize that sheesh i'm not giving hundred percent and the video is crap i delete it that's what i normally do in, in fact this is my third take you be surprised this is my third take the first take that i gave i was I just went off on a tangent. The second video that I took, I was like, oh, shish, my coffee, I need coffee. So now I have like hot coffee here. Wait one sec. Okay. And um, this is my third take. So yeah, uh, you can see the, the, the cupboard at the back. It was slightly opened and I took out and do it again. So there will be days, there will be days where you'll not be up to the mark. There will be days where you'll feel totally burnt out. There will be days where you want to give your best, but somehow it's not coming out. Now, so what do you do? What do you do? Now, what I normally recommend for people is you need to switch off. You need to switch off. Um, like days where I feel completely overwhelmed with work. I feel like yesterday when I felt burnt out, I tried, I tried putting up a video. I tried putting up an article. I tried doing something. Nothing was happening. I'm not in exaggerating, not in one line. I was not even able to type out one line and say something. It was just not happening. So I was like, I'm not going to force this. And uh, when I wanted to read a book uh, right now, the book that I'm reading is uh, this one, Rules for a Modern Life uh, by Sir David Tang. Nothing great, trust me, nothing great. I'm just going through the motions, just want to finish this book off. So that was not happening. So I just started killing time. I just chatted with uh, one guy, he's from Sri Lanka. He uh, He's helping with my strategy for the game and he told me he had an interview. So I just gave him a couple of tips. I spoke to one guy who is uh, applying for a job in Canada. I gave him a couple of tips, uh, just casual. I told him that I'm not feeling up to the mark. So two or three people here and there. But I didn't do anything that was very hardcore creative because I was not feeling like it. So I just decided, okay, just switch off. Uh, I, I chatted with my friend. She's like my sister. Her name is Kiran. So we were just talking of good old days in Dubai, life in particular. I just spent one hour just talking random, which I normally don't do. Uh, then I was talking to this guy from Sri Lanka who I told you about the gaming and he was giving me tips. Then I spent time on the game and I was literally, I'm telling you, I, I just wasted time on the game. I wouldn't say waste, but you know, it was nothing productive. It was just me entertaining myself. Then I watched a movie. I normally don't watch a full movie. I... I watched the whole movie, Shape of Water. You must see that. And I was eating pomegranate. I was eating fruits. I was just sitting down. So it was one of those days, you know. So when you do have a moment like this, just you need to switch off. You need to absolutely switch off. Um, do Normally what I recommend is switch off from social media, switch off from the internet, switch off from gaming, everything, just lie down and sleep. That is one way. The other way is... Um, do something that you enjoy. It can be gaming, like I was playing a game. Uh, it can be watching a movie. The third way how you can fight, uh, you know, a creative mental block or depression is by, uh, a burnout is by doing something you'd not, not normally do. Like in my case, I was talking to my, um, sister, friend, Kiran, 
we're just talking of good old days. Um, it can be something that is totally off schedule, off plan. Like normally I don't spend time answering emails or questions. I was busy answering all of them. Uh, I did a bit of housekeeping. Housekeeping, that is my computer. I, I deleted all the unwanted photographs. I deleted all the downloads. I sorted out a couple of folders. You know, that is also very important because this is my, my tools. These are my tools. I need to make sure that, you know, it's up to the mark. So I, I, I was just killing time. I, I didn't do anything in particular. So, you know, when, when you go through a burnout, when you go through depression uh, or when you go through, um, a mental block it's necessary to kind of change the schedule do something different or just let go just relax maybe your body's trying to tell you man listen we need rest we just need rest we are working too much so that's exactly what i did and um, and sleeping always helps if you take more naps you sleep you relax it helps you a little bit more sometimes what i tend to do is i even take sleeping pills um not necessarily sleeping pills which i don't recommend if you're not used to it i don't drink alcohol so i take uh, you know this panadol night panadol night is um I, I i i take that because it makes me feel drowsy and then i'm able to meditate or sleep and i listen to that app uh, which is the relax melodies the biannular beats for meditation so that kind of helps and gets into the zone so i i just do something different and uh, i also took my wife with me for shopping we just went to the market and checked a couple of things i was playing with my dog so just try to take my mind off and i think this is necessary because you know especially if you're a creator especially if you're a person who's doing something very important it's necessary to take these off these holidays these moments where you switch off, where you don't actually do anything productive because it's not all about productivity, not all about making money, not all about peak performance. Sometimes you just need to chill out, man, just chill out. So yeah, like I took a nice massage, which really made me feel good. Today I'm feeling much more better. Yesterday I was really sore. So it's it's important to try something different, do something different and give yourself a break because otherwise it's, it's not going to help you. So this is what I did. And this is what helped me. So what, what do you do? Uh, what do you do when you're depressed? What do you do when you're burnt out or when you're in a mental block? Do you actually do any of these suggestions like, you know, sleeping, meditation, um, trying something new, you know, being with your loved one? Even masturbation can be uh, of real help. Sex can be of great help. Um, when I was single, I used to go to uh, these massage parlors where you can have sex with a girl and and just pay a little bit of money and she'll keep you happy give her an extra tip and she'll do whatever you want so i used to do that but, you know today i don't need because i have a wife um, she takes care of all my needs whether it's sexual physical mental emotional whatever and um, yeah i even did this i i because my wife is pregnant with four uh, the baby of four months and three weeks i gave her a hug and we were just lying down on the bed for i think uh, half an hour half an hour or so she likes to put her head here my arm goes a little numb so and you know i put my hand on the her stomach she she guides me where the baby is and you know just giving a little bit of love i don't know if the baby could feel it but you know that that was kind of a nice move i hugged my dog uh because um, uh, they 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 had a nice fight for food so i slapped him here and there but i think i slapped a little hard so my dog was pimpering and then I gave him a hug and I said, sorry. So, you know, you, you do these things. You need to change. So uh, let me know what is it that you do. Uh, some people, they, they spend more time with their children. Some people go into seclusion mode. Some people just, you know, try something thrilling like bungee jumping or whatever. So let me know what, what is it that you do. Um, you know, this is what I did to get out of depression and... Uh, the, the mental block and uh, today I'm feeling much better. So I thought I'd just share this um, video with you, these thoughts. Uh, let me know what is it that you do. Um, love to, you know, get your thoughts and um, yeah, that's that's what I wanted to leave you with. So anyway, live from LiveMissita.com, he's LiveMissita and personal branding, sharing with you his views. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. This is me saying goodbye for now. And yeah, don't forget, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And do put your comments. This is me saying goodbye for now. Thanks, guys. Hello. Take care.